Okay, let's move now to uh, the Leinster Championship, and I suppose it's really a case of uh, who's actually going to get into the final to play Dublin, who are almost unbackable for Leinster. Yeah, at um, one to six on, you know, you have to say it's it's certainly Dublin's title to lose. They've been the mainstay of Leinster football over the last ten years. They're the current All Ireland champions, and they are the benchmark in Gaelic football at the minute. Um, and that's where teams have to try to get to. You know, they've set a level of professionalism in GA over the last couple of years that hasn't been seen before. And you know, they are a fantastic side. They're a side um, that has a lot of athletes in it. And, and once you have a lot of athletes, along with the talented players like Jim McConley, Bernard Brogan, Alan Brogan, boys, you got the, the finishers. <clears throat> you know, they're always going to be very difficult to beat. But you know, I can't really see any team coming close to them in Leinster. <clears throat> the next best team for me are possibly Meath, and when it comes down to it, I don't think Meath will put, run them close at all. Well, see, Meath and Gildare are both <coughs> to one to win it, you know, and they're one to six there. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, it, it says it all, doesn't it? You know, it's, it shows how you know, far back the rest of the teams in Leinster have gone. The reality is it's not Dublin's fault, of course. Um, it's up to the other teams to try to, to match um, the potential and quality that Dublin are, are playing to at the minute and unfortunately you know other counties don't have the same resources that Dublin have as well and you know that's maybe one of the main reasons why they're so far ahead.